guys, it's Miss Adams. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to take a bunch of these and turn them into these. So we're going to be doing some melted crayons today. So bear with me. I'm going to give you the instructions. So here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your oven to 275 degrees. Mom or dad might have to help you with this, but mine is starting to load up now. Okay, so in order to do the melted crayons, you're going to need a couple of things. You are going to either need little silicone molds like these. You can get them at Michael's or um, some of the grocery stores have something similar to it. Or you're going to need a little paper um, cupcake holder. And you're going to want to have wax paper as well so that you don't ruin the tray that you're going to be putting in the oven. And of course, you're going to need lots of crayons. So once you have all those materials ready, um, then you'll be ready to take this tutorial. Okay guys, so I have a couple of things set up here. I've got my wax paper on a big baking tray. I've got my oven preheating to 275 and I'm going to be showing you guys now how to put the crayons inside these molds. It's really, really easy. Um, I'm going to just fill up a couple more of these cups in here. Okay, I'm going to put this on top of here. Um, if you don't have the molds, that's what you're going to use for the cupcake holders. My oven is telling me it is ready to start melting crayons. Um, I just need to get crayons inside the molds and inside the cupcake um, holders. So you're going to take your crayons, already have the paper peeled off of them. Um, that's a very long process, but it makes for a really pretty um, crayon. And then you're going to take them and just snap them. Start snapping them and putting them inside your molds. Um, with these little rubber molds, these silicone molds, you're going to want smaller pieces in there, um, but you want a lot of them in there. Otherwise it won't fill up the entire mold and it will be kind of not as, not as fun. It'll be more of a flat crayon than it would be a nice full crayon. So all you're going to do is continue breaking up pieces of crayon and putting them in. <laughs> So I just put these in the oven. We are going to bake them at 275 degrees for a total of about 15 minutes. So mom and dad may have to help you put them in the oven as well as set the timer. Um, but once those 15 minutes are up, you will just take them on out and let them cool down. Okay guys, my timer just went off, so I pulled these out of the oven using an oven mitt. You might want mom or dad to help you with this. Um, you'll notice that when they come out, they're still going to be kind of watery. That's because they just need to cool down. Once they're cooled down, you will have a cramp. All right guys, so these have been cooling down for about a half an hour and now they should be ready to come out of their molds. So just be kind of gentle with them. Um, if you're using one of the silicone molds, just pull it, put it upside down and you can just push this little guy out. There I've got a cute little car, hopefully you can see that. And if you were using the cupcakes, um, cupcake paper wraps, you're just gonna kind of just Peel the paper off, and now you've got a colorful crayon disc. So these are just as fun to use as well. Um, I'll pop out one of my rubber duckies just so you can see how they turned out. Oh, and he's so cute. So there's my rubber duck as well. So these are really fun to make, um, really colorful when they're done. I do recommend that you use different colors in order for this kind of effect. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you had fun melting crayons and 
If you have any issues, you can always go to my classroom in the um, Google accounts and ask them on our classroom page. Have fun making melted crayons, guys. Bye.